Brand Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Birch Carter. And I'm Micah Solashat. So, Micah, how was your fall break? It was really good. It was fun. How about you? Mine was also very fun. Well, Braves, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. But first, it is the start of a new quarter, so let's get the grind going. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a month where we come together to fight against breast cancer. This is the month where we show support to survivors by wearing pink. We can also learn about the importance of being screened for breast cancer. Together, we can make strides towards a cure and improving lives of millions. We had the chance to interview sophomore class president Xavier Sharif for more information about this week's mixer. Roll the clip. Hello Braves, my name is Xavier Sharif and I am the sophomore class president and I'm here to talk to you about the mixer happening after the home football game on October 18th. Bring $10 to the door and you will be admitted to the mixer where there will be drinks and food and whatnot. It is for uh, future events, prom, and uh, it's black and pink out, so for breast cancer awareness. Thanks for the information. Congratulations to our Braves marching band for their winning performance last weekend. The BMB once again had a clean sweep of awards, taking home best auxiliary, best visual, best percussion, best music, best general effect, and first place in the Class A at the competition held at Loveland High School. Congratulations to sophomore students Jane Holbrook and Mina Hagopian for being selected to participate in the CCM's Youth Wind Ensemble. This audition ensemble is for the Premier Wind Ensemble for students in 9th through 12th grade. Here is Kate Schroeder from Interactive Health to share with us a message about breaking the silence with mental health. Hi, I'm Kate Schroeder at Interact for Health. By now, you've probably heard about our Tri-State High School Student Contest, Breaking the Silence, Teens Fighting Suicide. We are challenging all area high school students to create a PSA that addresses teen mental health. If you haven't heard, check out the details at box19now.com BTS. But here's the really cool part. The winning PSA will be aired during the Super Bowl on Fox 19 in February, right here in the Tri-State and the top three finalists will win a Joe Burrow autographed football. So encourage any teens you know to check this out. Entries are accepted until November 3rd. And again, details are at fox19now.com BTS. Together, we can improve teen mental health in our community. If someone you know is struggling, text, call, or chat 988 today for judgment-free support. Thank you, Kate, for your message. And remember, it is okay to not be okay. Well, our fall sports teams are off and running. Let's toss it over to our sports reporters for this week's report. What's going on, Braves? I'm Patrick Langworthy here with this week's sports report. We had a lot of things happen during this break, so let's go over some new scores. This week, we're breaking down field hockey. First, let's take some highlights from the Lady Braves. In her first highlight against Talawanda, after missing the first shot, senior Samantha Kane intercepts a pass, getting out, getting her redemption, and getting another Braves goal. Yeah, this game was a blowout. You can see from the score right there. Next was an impressive shot that fit right into the bottom right corner by senior Charlotte Condorotis. After getting a pass from senior Lauren Eckert, Condorotis eventually got control of the ball, getting it right into the bottom right corner for another Braves goal. Both Samantha Kane and Charlotte Condorotis got hat tricks that night. This clip is from sophomore Faye Vanden Muhlengraf. After hitting the ball in the air to junior Vivian Whaley on the pass out, she finds the opening and hits a laser right into the corner of the goal. And it goes just right past the goalie as she watches. Next, we're going to take a look from a prior game against Bishop Hartley, where the Lady Braves won 3-0. Our first highlight is from a goal from Samantha Kane, assisted by junior Maddie Lanfear. 
After taking the ball back from a free hit, Lanfear moves the ball down right to Kane and finding it in in the left corner of the goal, putting the Braves up 2-1. to one. Our final highlight is near the end of the third quarter, where Van de Mielengraaf finds Lanfear on corner to get a goal on a fast break right here. It was so impressive, they switched the cameras. Well, that's all the news I have for this week. Back to Micah Birch at, well, this desk. Oh, take it away, guys. Thanks for catching us all up on our fall sports teams. Go Braves. Here's Mr. Johnson with his two words of the week. What's up, Braves? Here are your two words for the week. Second chance. Do you ever feel like one mistake can define your whole story? Like that one bad choice, that setback, or that thing that you regret has the power to become your identity? It's easy to feel trapped by the weight of our missteps. We all mess up, we stumble, and we have to take detours. But let me tell you something. Your setbacks are not the end of your story. Not unless you want them to be. The beauty of life? It's that it's full of second chances. Full of moments where you can decide to rewrite your story. You can choose to reset and you can choose to rise above. Real power is not in never making mistakes. It's in realizing that every single day you have an opportunity to grow, to learn, and give yourself grace. To pick up a pen and write a new chapter. So if you've been holding on to something that's holding you back, give yourself permission to let it go. You don't have to stay stuck in the old version of yourself. Today is your permission to embrace a second chance, a fresh start, to be better, stronger, and more resilient than you ever thought was possible. So take a breath, reset, and rise above, because your story is not over yet. Embrace your second chance. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for your two words. We also have some important dates for this upcoming week. On Saturday, October 19th, the final showing of Pride and Prejudice will be held in the auditorium at 7 p.m. And on Tuesday, October 22nd, the IHHS and IHMS Choral Concert will be held in the auditorium at 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in the hill. hill. A lot of people usually lie about their height, so we're going to get the measuring tape and see if they're really telling the truth. I'm here with Mia. Uh, Mia, how tall are you? I'm like 5'11". Let's get the measuring tape out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you lying about this? Probably. Uh, yeah, you're 5'11". Ah, oh, God, I was really hoping for that. I'm here with Christian. Christian, how tall are you? 6'2". Let's see what the measuring tape says about you. Put your foot on it. Oh, shoot. Put your foot on it. There. All right. Uh, yeah, you're like 5'11". Hey, 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 I can't, I can't believe you lied to me. Why, why would you lie to me like that? Why would you lie to me? I'm here with... Claire Frazier. Claire, how tall are you? Five feet tall. Oh, let's, let's, let's fact check that. Uh, you're like... Of one, probably. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm here with Hunt. Hunt, how tall are you? Are, are you? I'm six foot tall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. I think she might be six foot tall. Come on, zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, put the hair down. No, six one with the hair. No, forget that. Anybody else? Six one, maybe. Six one with the hair. Put that mic up here. How tall are you, Pat? Five seven. All right. That's all right. That's what say. Yeah. yeah. Man. You guys really measured me before this. No, we didn't. I'm taking over. You'll see me next semester, baby. So you're about five, seven. Yeah. Okay, you didn't lie. I do not lie. Good job, Pat. I'm here with Dan. Dan, how tall are you? Um, I'd like six foot. What shoes on? Get the measuring tape you got out. Got measuring tape. About five eleven. Really? Yeah. Yeesh. Why would you lie about your about your about your height like that? I really thought I was six foot. I'm here with uh, Callum Byer. Shots by Callum. How tall are you? I'm five six. Get the measuring tape. Put your foot on the bottom. Over ten, Henry. It's like five seven actually. Mm. Well, maybe with the, the shoes on, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm here with Chance. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Chance, how tall are you? 
seven three. Realistically, realistically. Yeah. Oh, another measuring tape out right there. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go. I'm here with uh, Rocco. Rocco, how tall are you? Five eleven. Actually, before you do that, kick the slides off. I was six foot. I was probably 6'3". That is not true. Take those slides off. Take those slides off. Take those slides off right now. Take the slides off now. Trying to look good on Brace. you want a girl like you? Mm-mm. 5'9". 5'9". Five 5'9". Five I'm here with Wells Conan. Wells, how tall are you? Uh, I think I'm about 6'1". Get the measure. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already said your answer. You might as well prove yourself wrong. Uh, actually, wait, actually, wait, no, 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 no. Let's take the shoes off. Let's see. Let's see how you look without the shoes. Take the shoes off. Come on. Take the shoes oh. off. Let's go, man. Come on. Now we're gonna get your real height, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Five eleven. Oh, five eleven. So why were you lying right there? Well. What up? Hey, you be a Interview for Take like two seconds. What y'all? What y'all want? Uh, just asking how tall people are. Oh, tall people. Are. What are hey, you doing, hey. man? What's up, man? You invade my privacy, man. Don't record. Sorry. I mean, you're so, so great for the camera. There's about here with Mr. King. Mr. King, how tall are you? I'm five eleven, baby. But I like to tell everybody I'm six foot. You feel? Well, how about we double check that with our tape? Well, let's double check it, baby. Come on. See? Rob's gonna put out like an inch or two. Yeah, make shoes. sure he got that all the way on the ground too, cause this guy cheats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't take that long with a say. Hey, I don't lie. I just multiply. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>